Want to know the top five Perth areas for growth? Well, the Perth property market is undeniably in recovery now, so stay tuned as I share the top five areas for growth for 2020 in Perth. But first, let me introduce myself. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth. Welcome to our Just Ask Tim video series where you can get all your questions answered on anything finance, real estate, investment related and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along and thanks for joining us. And don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So, the Perth recovery is back on track having faltered in the lead up to the federal election. Like many locations across capital city Australia, Perth paused amidst the uncertainty created by the election and the prospect of a Labor victory and major changes to property taxes. Tighter finance and a highly negative media also contributed to putting the brakes on the Perth recovery in the lead up to the election. The Perth, or sorry, my correction, the Spring 2019 Price Predictor Index published by Hotspotting shows the decline has likely bottomed out with, well firstly, almost 30% of Perth suburbs having recorded growth in their median prices in the past 12 months. Also, a steady number of suburbs with increasing sales volumes. There is also an improving number of markets with steady sales volumes, and now very few markets at all with declining sales volumes across per the Perth metropolitan area. This also comes as vacancy rates continue to tighten and rents rise. Now, mid-October data from SQM Research showed that the Perth vacancy rate was continuing to fall. In 2017, the rate was close to 6%, but now 2.9% and falling. Now, SQM Research also reported solid growth in Perth rentals with the rents index up in annual terms for both houses and apartments. This source also recorded short-term improvement in the city's prices index, and that's been confirmed by the latest domain pricing report published in mid-October. As they've recorded in several of their previous surveys, the recovery in the Perth market after several down years has been dominated primarily by four local governmental areas. So Joondalup, Stirling, Wanneroo and Melville. Now their spring survey confirms that this is still the case. So heading our top five areas in Perth for growth is the suburb of Heathridge. Now, an uplift in sales activity in the past 12 months means the local government, uh, the Joondalup local government area is leading, is the leading precinct in Perth with the number of suburbs with growing buyer demand. Also, a steady performer in the property market and a leader of the Perth recovery, Joondalup will have its prospects boosted by two significant projects. Approval of the marina and waterfront tourist retail project has been accompanied by the plans for the Boas Place project, which is a mixed use development for office, hotel, retail, and residential elements. Now, Joondalup is also an area with strong amenities, services, and good road and rail links to the CBD. Recognised by the state government as the main strategic metropolitan centre in northern Perth, its healthy economy is boosted by strong population growth. Joondalup offers a pleasant waterside environment with Lake Joondalup while being within easy reach of the ocean and the beaches. Now for property investors, it has the important quality of major education and medical facilities, which provides a steady pool of rental demand. At a time when the Perth market is moving into recovery phase, after several years in decline, the Joondalup precinct has several growth suburbs which offer the opportunity to buy well ahead of future price rises. Heathridge is, well located, is a well located suburb where buyer demand is now rising strongly. So next up is the suburb of Carina. So big things are happening in the city of Stirling where Karen Up stands out as one of the most sought after residential enclaves and steadiest property markets in Perth. The Stirling City Centre project is being touted as being one of Australia's biggest urban regeneration projects and $1.6 billion is being spent on upgrading two shopping centres including the Karen Up Shopping Centre. This is having a positive effect on the sterling property market where sales activity is strong and, a tra and that's a trait that is particularly noticeable. Now in Carina, which features in their Hotspotting's Price Predictor Index as one of the national top 50 most consistent markets, Carina offers a leisurely lifestyle benefiting from its proximity to beaches and extensive green space. It is close to the internationally renowned Scarborough Beach where trendy bars and cafes impart a youthful vibrancy on the area. 
Further adding to the region's appeal are the shopping and education facilities coupled with good transport links to the Perth CBD. Vacancies are low throughout the precinct, providing further evidence of strong demand for real estate in suburbs like Karina. Now at number three, is the fastest growing Perth suburb in the last 12 months, Mount Pleasant. So the Perth market is showing signs of recovery with improvements in vacancies, rents and sales activity and one of the standout performers is the Melville local government area. Several of its suburbs have growing buyer activity and some have recorded price growth in the past 12 months. Mount Pleasant has recorded a 17% increase in its median house price and Bull Creek has grown 8% over the last year alone. These rises are against the general trend in the Perth market at present. Suburbs in the city of Melbourne straddle the inner city and middle ring areas of Perth. They benefit from being close to major east-west uh, transport corridors, linking the Perth airport to the port of Fremantle. They also have good access to the Perth CBD. Two suburbs within the Melville local government area are marked as major economic growth centres, while Murdoch, a precinct within the city of Melville, is already renowned as a major health and education hub. Further development is expected in the region, and the strong level of infrastructure spending targeted on the Melville precinct suggests this market is well placed to grow as Perth enters the recovery phase. Now for number four, tapping. A recent uplift in the median price in tapping is part of a trend taking hold in the Wanneroo local government area and across Perth generally. The West Australian economy is improving, unemployment is falling, and population growth is at its best level for four years. The Perth property market is responding with vacancies trending lower, rents rising and prices recovering in many areas. Against this background, the city of Wanneroo property market is showing positive signs with several suburbs producing an increase in median house prices in the last three months. They include the suburb of Tapping, which has plenty of appeal for both home buyers and investors as it is large, has homes, large new homes and proximity to existing and emerging job nodes. Over the past decade, 177,000 new residents have moved to this municipality, making it the fastest growing government local government area wow. in Western Australia. There is little sign of the slowdown in the growth of this region, and in support of this growth, both the Mitchell Freeway and the Joondala Butler train line are being extended while the state government is busy building new schools. Growing industrial areas are also providing employment opportunities and with houses in most suburbs priced in the $300,000 and $400,000 marks, properties in the city of Wanneroo are worthy of attention by investors. Now rounding out the top hop five is the suburb of Riverton. So the city of Canning is one of Perth's most compelling growth precincts and it's projected to become the home to an extra 35,000 people over the next 20 years and is attracting new residents because of its affordability. And this is leading to an uplift in local property markets. Sales activity is rising in some of the suburbs in the city of Canning, including East Cannington and Riverton, providing testimony to the area's stronger performance over the last 12 months. The Rewa uh, uh, Re ranked East Cannington as one of Perth's top growth suburbs in late 2018 and named Canning Vale as one of Perth's top selling suburbs in April this year. Riverton also features amongst the national 50, uh, top 50 suburbs in the spring edition of the Price Predictor Index published by Hotspotting. There is growing evidence of a return to price growth in several suburbs in this precinct, including Riverton, as the Perth market shows increasing signs of recovery. The city of Canning has particular appeal because of its proximity to health and education precincts and industrial employment in the Perth CBD and Perth Airport. Now underway are the city centre regeneration program and it's expected to deliver 10,000 new homes for 25,000 new residents. And the area around the Cannington train station is marked for further residential development, while 1,500 new homes are eventually being built in Bentley. With Perth overall offering strong levels of affordability, the city of Canning offers considerable appeal to investors and home buyers. So guys, that's pretty much it for me today. Remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're saying this. Also, if you wanna submit a question or there's a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail for our Just Ask Tim video series, there'll be a link in the post for you to do that. 
also stay tuned later in uh, for the in the week for the week in real estate the why where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance real estate and investment guys have a great week and remember there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action see you guys